In less than two weeks, school will resume for thousands of school children, and chances are gridlock traffic will once again be the norm during peak times. In an effort to ease the congestion, Dr. William Dugid says staggered work hours should be considered. We must fully explore all avenues related to this measure, which can have a positive impact on the reduction of time spent waiting in traffic. Everyone present here and those within the sound of my voice are aware of the easier traffic flow when school is on holiday. Furthermore, as we build out our 24-hour society, the need for the majority of the workforce to be at their respective places of work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 9 to 5 will be significantly reduced, and this in itself will have the potential to alleviate some of the traffic congestion challenges. Minister Duguid made the call as stakeholders gathered for the national consultation on traffic management. Senior technical officer in the ministry's road engineering section, Jason Bowen, says a study done on roads in and around the city reveals significant congestion and delays. He explains why. Mainly through a lot of heavy right turn movements, um, persons, what we call rat runners, they use shortcuts through the, the side roads and, and then try to beat traffic. That creates significant problems downstream. Um, upstream, sorry. It creates more bottlenecks and is a significant problem. It contributes greatly to the problem that we face. Mr. Bowen says on a scale of A to F, A being free-flowing conditions and F representing total gridlock, traffic flow on local roads scored Ds and Es, which is on the poor side of the scale. Unless something changes, this is projected to get worse. He says bad parking practices also contribute to congestion in the city. We see a lot of um, parking in restricted areas. There's double parking um, throughout Bridgetown. Persons actually park on the street for significant periods of time. There's normally parking even in the loading zones. Where they are defined in the loading zones, people park. Interestingly enough, Mr. Boyne says officials from the ministry discovered that on a daily basis, there are actually 1,000 free parking spaces available in car parks throughout Bridgetown. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.